to be in a position of being accused of selling tissue and stuff like that. On the other hand, there are costs associated with the use of exactly. space and all that kind of stuff. So what yes. would you think of that? Right. So, way higher than that. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to start at around 100. Okay. That's an excerpt from the controversial Sting videos released by anti-abortion activists claiming that Planned Parenthood sells fetal tissue for profit. Now the Senate is considering a bill to defund Planned Parenthood. Joining us is Dawn Legans. She is the Executive Vice President at Planned Parenthood Federation of America. Dawn, thanks so much for being on New Day. Good morning. So these videos that have been released, um, I know that you dispute the premise, obviously, that Planned Parenthood is selling for a profit fetal tissue, but it does sound like in some of these excerpts that they're negotiating. Why are these representatives from Planned Parenthood negotiating? Alison, I think a little context setting is important to start here at 7 a.m. Uh, Planned Parenthood for 99 years has been the nation's leading reproductive health care organization. We provide care, uh, birth control, STD testing, cancer screenings, abortion to 2.5 million men and women a year in this country. A million uh, young people get sex education from us. People know us well and know sure, that, and in no fact, that is not those Planned other Parenthood. services. It's just this particular service where there is an exchange of fetal tissue, which, by the way, uh, obviously does a lot of good. There's a lot of research, cures for diseases that come from it. But it does sound as though there's a price negotiation happening. What's the explanation for that? Here's what's happening is uh, an anti-abortion extremist group has for three years misrepresented who they are and stalked our doctors and clinics. And they are meeting there. And if you really listen to the longer tape, not the very short edited you know, mm -hmm. shock value video that they have historically put out and have put out in this case, what they do is they haggle. This is a doctor who, one, doesn't do this work at a place in our organization that doesn't have this program. And they are saying to her, no, that's not enough. Let us pay you more. And she's clearly saying, uh, I'm not sure what the reimbursement costs mm -hmm. would be for doing this fetal tissue donation. Mm -hmm. They're trying to encourage her mm -hmm. to start a program. So the idea that she's haggling is completely off base. Why not set a set price? Wouldn't that solve the problem? Because in this video, it says, well, sometimes it's between $30 to $100, depending upon storage and depending upon handling. And so it makes it seem as though there's room for haggling or negotiation. Why not say it's going to be $100? across the board and there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Just reminding you, this program takes place in three states in the country. And of course, depending on who the research partner is, uh, there are shipping costs, there can be handling costs, we can be talking about different kinds of research. So the costs can in fact vary, and that wouldn't be something that a doctor would be the person to decide. That would be somebody in accounting or someone who's in management. So these were not the people who would even know these things. So you say unequivocally, Planned Parenthood does not make a profit on fetal tissue. I say that unequivocally. Planned Parenthood does not make a profit on fetal tissue. Let's talk about that some in Congress are trying to defund Planned Parenthood. What they say is, yes, you do provide all of those other services that you've just outlined, but that the money goes into one pot and that they don't believe that there's a line between funding for abortion and funding for mammograms and birth control. What's the answer to that? Well, the answer is that there are uh, very strict rules that govern abortion providers, including the very unfair Hyde Amendment, which absolutely prohibits federal funding from going to abortion. And why so, is that unfair? Because uh, poor women are denied abortion care in this country uh, as a result of the Hyde Amendment. But that is the law of the land, and we follow the law of the land at Planned Parenthood in every way. So this is absolutely, when they talk about defunding, Americans need to know what we're talking about is cutting women off of cancer screenings, uh, breast exams, birth control, all STD testing and treatment. Abortion doesn't come into play at all with federal funding. How do you make sure that no federal funds ever go towards abortion? What's the process? Uh, there are strict accounting rules in process, as all health care providers would follow that rule, not just Planned Parenthood. Um, 
One of the things that has come out, the critics of Planned Parenthood during all of this, they say that, despite, put aside the video, that it's time to take a second look at Planned Parenthood and to reconsider it because they believe that Plan Planned Parenthood doesn't actually offer women who go in and say that they have an unwanted pregnancy options. That they sort of push women towards abortions and that they don't present, for instance, lots of literature or answers on adoption. Is it time to provide more adoption options? What I would say is the people who are making those charges have never been to Planned Parenthood because Planned Parenthood providers and it is Planned Parenthood's guidelines to absolutely offer each and every woman who comes to Planned Parenthood the full range of options. We're pro-choice. We are women deciding what's best for them. We trust women. And unlike the people who stand outside of our clinics and shame and harass doctors and women, and unlike these people who spend three years stalking doctors, trying to create problems where there aren't any, uh, we are proud of what we do. We are on the side of women. And if you ever come to a Planned Parenthood, which I invite you to do, we would happily show you exactly how that happens. Are you comfortable steering more women towards adoption? Uh, we don't steer women. I think that's the key thing. We trust women to make decisions. We want them to have all of the information. I personally know women who have gone to Planned Parenthood and after talking to a counselor or a doctor or one of our staff members actually made a different decision or have even stepped away and said, I need more time to think about this. That's what Planned Parenthood is. That's why people trust us. Uh, we're going to release a poll later this morning at 11.30 where uh, it's going to show that the American people trust Planned Parenthood two to one over these video fraudsters uh, who have been attacking our services and safe legal abortion in this country, which is their goal. Donna Gans, thanks so much for coming on New Day and explaining all of that. We appreciate you taking all the questions. Absolutely. Thank you, Allison. Thanks so much. New Day has invited David Deledian, he is the person who shot those controversial sting videos, to join us several times, but he has not responded to our requests. What's your take on this story? We would like to read your take.